Hello everyone, my name is Scientech 100 and welcome to the Comic Squadron channel. Today we're going to be talking about panel commands with command panels. In the recent update, Rocky changed a few things and that's what we're going to be going over today. A few of the things are like open equals, panel commands at the very beginning and how you use them, and those kind of things. Might be a shorter video, might not, we'll see. Hopefully you guys enjoy this tutorial. If you do, please leave a like. If you want to see more, consider subscribing. Hope you guys are having a great day. Let's get right into it. So, I have created a panel just called panel commands.yml and inside it it's just called panel commands default all the normal stuff and a stone that says click me so we're gonna start out with panel commands and placeholders with those so if you were to make a command for your panel where you do like slash mod and then somebody's name and you want it to autofill into a placeholder all we're gonna do is commands then the command we want so I'm gonna do mod and then we're gonna put chosen player. This can be whatever you wanna name it. Just make sure you remember it. But that's all you have to put, no CP anymore. If you put the CP, it won't work or it'll just have to change what you do later, but I recommend not doing it. So we have chosen player right here. And now when you go in game and you reload, all you have to do is type slash mod person's name and then this placeholder gets filled with that name. Now to use this placeholder, this is what was changed. So before you would put CP dash at the beginning of it. Now you don't do that here. What you do is you use it anywhere else. So if we add it to a lore, what we're going to do is we're now going to do the CP dash. So chosen player, just like that. So now it'll show up in the lore with the correct placeholder. So again, just to recap, you don't put the CP here but you put the CP whenever you're using it. If you do put the CP here, then all you have to do is just come down here and do the same thing, CP dash, and that's double, which I would recommend not doing, but up to you guys on how you want to do it. So now if we go back in game. So I've changed it to just slash hello and then a person's name, just like that. And now when you hover over it, it comes up with what you put. So that's how you would use the panel commands with placeholders now. Now I'm going to show you the open equals commands for panels to be able to transfer between them and you'll also be able to transfer the placeholders. So to do this, we come back in here, we add commands to an item and we're going to do open equals a panel name. So I'm going to create another panel after this. So we're just going to call it temp panel and then we're going to transfer some placeholders. So. What you used to do is you used to do the placeholder name. So you do like chosen player, just like that. And then you do the two dots and then you put the value, which would be CP chosen player. And for this, you'd have to do like CP chosen player two, since you can't have two of the same. So that's how you used to do it. Now, all you have to do is we'll leave this one the same because we want to transfer this placeholder to the other panel. But for this, we can now make it so it equals the exact same name as what we had. So all you have to type is chosen player, just like that. And then we're going to put quotes around it just to make sure it doesn't break. So now you just do chosen player equals whatever the chosen player placeholder is. This will allow you to transfer placeholders that are the exact same name in the next panel. So you don't have to do the chosen player to or change the name every single time. You can leave it the same and make it really easy to go through all your panels and edit them. So that was one of the other changes. Now we got to go create the temp panel. So I'm going to go create that real quick just by copy and pasting this. Won't take me very long, but I'll meet you guys in game. When we're in game, CPR again. Now if I do hello, you'll see it says click me has the name. If I click, it'll open up the new panel. Now it says temp, but it passed the placeholder along. So the placeholder went right with it. And then I also set it up so if I click this again, it'll go back to the other one and it'll bring the placeholder. So that's how you'd use open equals to transfer placeholders and things like that. That was one of the other changes that also broke a lot of different panels. But that's all the things that were changed with the update. Hopefully this video is helpful for you guys just so you can fix all your panels with the new update. There's been a lot of new bugs lately, so if you guys find any of those, join the Discord, let us know. We'll try to fix them as fast as we can. If you have any suggestions, Leave them in the Discord. We'll see what we can do with them. But if you guys have any questions, I'll leave the wiki and the Discord in the description. You can also comment on the video if you want to talk to me directly. I'll try to get back to you whenever I can. Same as on Discord. I am a moderator and a developer on there now. 
So if you have any questions, feel free to ask there. I've also left the Okami Squadron website in the description if you want to go check it out there. I have a bunch of free panels on there that you can download and use and change on your server. And there goes my dog. To whatever you'd like, and you can use them. One of the new ones is the online browser. It'll show every player on your server scales infinitely. Very nice to use. But I'll be adding more there soon. And if you want any information about Okami Squadron, all that is on there. So again, hopefully you guys found this helpful. If you did, remember to leave a like. If it didn't find it helpful, you can dislike. But please consider subscribing. It helps us out tremendously. Hopefully you all are having a great day. I'll see you in the next one.